Hello everyone, if you've been keeping up to date on my raids guides then you'll know that I've been sending a lot of raids and sending a lot of tutorials, currently got a Kefri one and an Arca one out, soon will follow Krondis and Abmaken. Now, what we're going to do in this video is show a safe spot for Barber. Now it's not really a safe spot, it's more of a kiting method, because you used to be able to safe spot it in a corner if a rock fell there or a boulder, but they patched that. However, because I'm using a bow for it, but most people in my clan are using melee, I've been trying to find a cool way to solo it. And this method will allow you to solo it all the way up to basically 600 invocation without ever getting hit. But you've got to set it up first. Now, it's easier than you think. I'll show you now. Like I said, this is more of a kiting method, not a safe spot. So the title might be a little bit of a clickbait. Sorry about that. First things first, we're going to teleport into the room and we're going to stand in the middle. Now when he spawns his boulder attack, three fall from the ceiling and two of them will stay on the floor. We need one to stay in the middle for this to work. If they're at the sides, we're going to have to wait for him to throw his rock and tank it and then run back to the middle and hope he spawns one there. I only have one dose of stamina for this, so I'm not going to be able to show it for a while, but I've got some other clips I can lay over the top as well. So fight him and stand in the middle of the room. If you've got mind the gap on, be very careful with this method though, because obviously <laughs> you can actually fall down the gap. Here's a rock and it's in the middle of the room. So, all you do is you walk around and you see that he's not hitting me, right? And then he'll change direction in a second. If he doesn't hit you, he's constantly stuck in a stasis. He cannot summon baboons, he cannot throw boulders, he cannot do his ground attack, and he can't hit you. He literally cannot do anything. Now, if I start adding some attacks into this, as you can see, I'm fighting it without it ever fighting back. Now, I've got to be very careful with it, like I said, with Mind the Gap. At my threshold, it's at 406 health that it actually does it. But if I'm just running around like this... He can't hit me. Now, that's going to spawn the boulders in the next hit, so I am just going to come down here for a second. That should be fine. Let me just get through the boulder phase, and I'll show you it again. As you can see, he's basically not hit me once so far. Now again, standing in the middle of the room, this is where you have to tank a few hits. He can summon baboons and stuff here, so just deal with them as normal. And here are the rocks. Now, hopefully one spawns in the middle. If it doesn't, it's not a big deal. You just fight him as normal until he throws a rock. So I'm actually not going to hit him for a minute. I'm just going to tank. So here's the rock. And then as soon as he's fired it, we're headed back to the middle of the room. Now he should throw boulders back down and we hope for another one to spawn. That one's also not done it. So, sometimes you just get unlucky, but most of the time it does go into the middle of the room. Now, I've just run out of run energy, so I'm just going to go in again to show you how it works. Again, you just stand in the middle of the room, attack him for a little bit, try to always be directly in the middle of the room if you can. That way it's got more chance of spawning in the middle, I've found. There we go, so we have a rock. So again, same thing, all we do is we just kite him around it, throw a few attacks in, now, it is important to keep Protect Melee up because sometimes you can screw this up until you get used to it. For example, and that's him throwing a rock at me. So I'm actually just going to tank that rock and that way this boulder doesn't disappear. That's completely my fault for actually screwing up. So again, I've hit up. And then every couple of attacks he will swap directions, so be mindful of that. And then watch for the Mind the Gap health, which is now. And then this is where it gets kind of difficult. So, when he does the boulder attack, it gets rid of all of the boulders on the screen. Now, obviously at this point, he has to respawn them. Sometimes he'll spawn them at both sides like we showed earlier. If he does that, sometimes if you tank it on the boulder and leave the tick that it hits you and run back to the middle, it will spawn them in the middle. Because if you're in the middle of the room when it's happening, it's got more chance of firing two to the middle, in which case one will definitely be a boulder. So if I get back to the middle now before he spawns it, and just wait for him to spawn a boulder, and is one going to be in the middle? Nope, they're both at the sides. In this situation, honestly, you can't do much. You just progress the fight as normal, but every time that it's on the boulder, you run back to the middle of the room and hope that he spawns one there. That's literally all there is to it. For example, now he's spawning one in the middle, so I can just progress and do it again. If he gets stuck in the rock like that, all you've got to do is run away for a minute to get him out of the rock, and then he won't clip through it anymore. Now, I am out of run energy here, so I can't show it anymore, but I hope that is a good example of how to save spot Barber. Now, you might be thinking, well, what's the point? Because everyone's meleeing the boss, you can't do this safe spot melee. And 
well, yeah, you're right, you can't do the safe spot melee. However, no one knows that melee is the best thing for this. Yes, Tebow seems to suck, but I get MVP in teams a lot with Buffer, even in duos that I was sending with someone who's got the fang. So, there is an option here. Like I said, you can choose to just tank that. Obviously, I'm going to die here, but you can choose to just tank the boulder and then just run around here to kite it. That's literally all there is to it. Just try and force spawn a rock in the middle of the room and then just send it. Now, I'm going to die and that's the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed this and it helps someone. They might patch it, they might not. I don't know because they removed the other safe spot. This is more of a kiting method, so it's more in the spirit of old school. But you know how Jagex can be. So, we'll see how it goes. Again, this is only for people who are using range to kill it. I imagine a Zarite crossbow is really good for this method as well. So I'd recommend a ZCB or Buffer, but Tebow will more than likely work. Thanks for watching, love you and leave you, and I'll see you next time. Bye!